Good morning guys, welcome to today. It is nice and early, it's Saturday morning. Yesterday I posted that I lost the camera cap for my camera and when I was editing, it was dark out when I was looking for it, couldn't find it, but when I was editing, I'm like, oh, I think I see it. So I thought, oh, what was I seeing in the video? I don't know, I thought I could have swore I saw it. What the heck? Maybe I was just seeing that black hole there. That's probably what I was seeing. Man, it's still lost then. Oh well, not much you can do about it. Um, anyway, oh, it's cool. I gotta get a sweater. We're headed out today to uh, do schooling at the horse show where Sophie's gonna do champs. Holy heck, it's freezing. But first, I have to go get money. And we are taking Gabby's car. She doesn't know because she's still sleeping. Sam has the trailer already all hooked up and I need money for this weekend. So we have to go get to, go to the bank machine. Let me figure out how to turn off these vents. Like it's freezing out. Anyway, welcome to today. Welcome to this weekend that's full of so much fun. I can't wait. I love a good show weekend. All right, we are packing up. I told you guys we're last minute Lucy's for this. Uh, you can take Chino's girth. No. Her Spitzer, I'd take Chino's too. Because once they get it on, it's so loose. Oh. As long as I can get it on, then she starts puffing out. So Sylvia and I have discovered that we only have one girl guinea. A friend gave us, I think, six eggs, and five of them hatched, <coughs> and only one is a girl. And, look at that. There's grapes up there. That's why they're up there. There's, it's a grapevine. I think it's a grapevine. <laughs> <gasps> That's so funny. The weird thing about birds is that girls are noisier. We only have one girl guinea, aren't you glad? You bring them both girls? Yeah. yeah, you should. Bring the water. Yeah. Are you talking about the one up on the... Yeah. Yeah, we're all amazed by it. That's how simple we are. I know, I already videoed her. Uh -huh. Hi, babies. <laughs> <laughs> They're so funny. Just spending my day hanging out in the poop pile. Even the ducks will come over here and look for bugs and worms and stuff. I don't know why the chickens don't come out when they could. Like, they all fly. They can all get out of here. I don't know why any of them stay in there, but they do. They just stay in there. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom Turkey. Hi, baby. Yeah, you're pretty cute. I love you. And my little Clara too. I call them both Clara now because they're both friendly. I don't know who's who. Hi. <laughs> so uh, yesterday I tossed a baby duck over the fence because it was the only way I could get her to the other ducks where the other ducks were. She couldn't fly. I was like, what the heck? I thought they could fly. She heard me say, damn it lady, it came right in. She was like, what I do? Hey. Apparently ducks don't fly until they're like three to four months old, so that was my problem. I didn't realize. That chicken is back up there. Yeah, what a good pony. Somebody's freaking out that she's gone, that she's leaving. I don't even have to wonder who it is. I know who it is. That's who it is right there coming. She does not like Lady to leave. She doesn't like anybody to leave. Yes, she'll be back. I feel like Penny feels like Lady is a kindred spirit for her. Like Lady is such a kind soul, so she fits in with every single one of our horses, so they all worry about her. Oh, yeah. oh we're getting old. Yeah, we, we should we should make that. <laughs> oh, was it? It was Penny now. Anyway, why did she get on? Because I told her we're just going for a ride. We'll be back. Forgot the part where she has to ride. Oh, well, I guess that. Okay. So we're going for a ride. They're coming back like we did last week. All right, let's go schooling, you guys. I'm excited. Who's excited? I love going new places. This is going to be so much fun. It's three different schooling series. 
are having a playoff. So they're having like a championship. Uh, Sophie's not hoping to win. She's hoping to do her best and to do ladies best and that's all because this is their first season together. But three different schooling shows all together in one venue. It's gonna be so much fun. Venue. And is that a food place? Does it have food? <clears throat> is that what you asked me? <coughs> no, like isn't a venue a thing for a place that has food? Oh, I think I think a venue means like a place that you can go. That also has now I gotta look it up. Yeah, well usually venues have food or you bring your own food or there's all different things. So we are here and it is so gorgeous here you guys. This is a huge facility. There are people everywhere. Like this is probably one of the nicest places for a show that we've ever been. Hi lady, you excited? I was already talking to some of the moms. It's exciting. So I'm gonna go and get Sophie's number. We're gonna get to get Sophie. <coughs> We're gonna get to get Sophie's number today um, while she warms up, and she's gonna get to go and ride, draw, like ride everywhere. And wait, I can do the cross country. I don't think you can do the cross country, but there's like huge cross country here, you guys. There's like two huge fields. That field right there, and then a whole other one. Jump over there looks so cool. It's got like three different heights. <laughs> Good thing you brought it. Sam and I were like, bring the good girth, bring the good one, the bigger one, because she's going to need it. A wasp flew into my face. <laughs> a wasp? Mm -hmm. Lady's like, I don't understand what's happening. So anyway, because it's like a championship show, she has to be braided beautifully. So Sophie said, get Gabby to do it. <laughs> and I'm like, yep, that's what we're going to do. So Finn's is 50. So 54 is too big. 50 is too small. She needs a 52. All right, remember that. She needs a 52. <laughs> she says, no, I don't want a 50 do. She's like, I'm only a 50. Don't try and tell people that, Sophie. <laughs> this is literally all new to us. Like, this is a whole new venue for us. And our trainer is here. So we're going to go find him. Figure out what we have to do. All I know is that I have to go pay and get her number. And then she can work out. Or work then out. she can <laughs> then she can school. I'll show you guys though, it's beautiful here. This is like the most beautiful farm I think we've ever been to. All right, we are ready and we are headed in to go show. So we're actually, um, there's a lineup for the show ring. So we're gonna do the warm up ring. She's gonna jump that little cross rail first. Good girl, you're doing good. I love how they look at their their mom and their dad. And yeah, she's excited. That's where we're parked over there, so Sam can just sit there and watch. Changing directions. <coughs> I said you're changing directions. She's like, oh, there's my trailer, let's go home. Raised on love in those sunny years when there was magic in the world. Her laughter traveled well across those hardwood floors. God knows we didn't have much. But in a way, you know we had it all. It's so freaking nice here, you guys. They said that they haven't had a horse show here for 12 years. <coughs> this is literally the show to start it off with, like this big championship show. It feels like champs. It feels like you know, so many people coming together. It's like, it is, this is fun. This is Sophie's first champs. She is gonna try this jump. Oh my gosh. 
What a good girl. So over there's the <coughs> derby ring. Over there's cross country. Over there's cross country. Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, she's like, I gotcha. This is like really so, like remember, she's just starting to jump her. So she's like so excited. It's like Christmas still for her. She is enjoying it. She's like, I know what I'm doing. So the first couple of jumps, she really jumped it because she was like, what the heck is this? And then this one, the last two, she's like, yeah, this is nothing. Like she's a big horse, so she needs to like really jump to be able to like really jump. Like, the first two were jumped. gorgeous. Like you could feel her. Yeah. Her shoulders come to you instead of you go to her. Yeah, it was amazing. I think You're she's such a good girl. Do you want to go over back to the hunter ring? Or you want to practice more here? All right, all right, so she's gonna go over and get some water. The atmosphere that's here, like, you know, when you walk in and you are at a show, like, everyone is so amazing here. Like, it's just so, so awesome. I love her number, too. What's my number? 122, that was the first house Sam and I ever bought together. 122, yeah, Wasn't that the haunted one? <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. So Sophie's next. We just have to wait for who's ever in the ring now to be finished. And then we'll put some, they put some cross rails down? Then we'll put some cross rails down and it'll be Sophie's turn. We're figuring out the courses, but Sophie's got it. I love how they numbered them like that though. Are they always numbered like that? Uh-huh, no. I love it. All right, she's going in. Oh. All right, so. As soon as these people are done, we're gonna put the jumps down to cross rails so that she can really practice. I actually wanna see her jump a jump of flowers. Actually, has she jumped flowers before? I would. Uh, I think she has before, but I would, but she hasn't jumped. She's like, wow, where are all the horses? Oh, that's, a bridge. that's a bridge? Are you gonna jump it? You ready to go? I have to try the quarter line one way. So if you go this way, it's outside, diagonal, outside, diagonal. The, the course looks really easy to read. It is. Make sure it's simple. Do you always put numbers? Yeah. Huh. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers I love seeing like the excitement in Sophie and the love of her horse. What's your 
type So now I wanna know all about you Deep connection, lights a spark You already know me when we dance in the dark We're dreamers This is so fantastic. Like Gabby had so many opportunities. I'm so glad to see Sophie getting opportunities. What a good pony. Straighter into that corner, Sophie. Sophie's so so excited I can never catch it on camera but she's like she she's so proud of her like she's not jumping she's a huge horse she needs like something to actually jump I know and you love it like, okay, well, so we're actually stuff. so yeah like this winter she might <laughs> really start jumping yeah. and it's gonna be amazing I can already tell and even Brandon was saying like <laughs> the thing about this horse is that Sophie says go here and she's like okay let's go here other horses especially when they're just starting to learn to jump will be like oh I don't want to go there and they'll like swerve or stop or she just, likes it too. I think she likes it too what do you guys think do you she think her brain to work. She's like, okay, well, I yeah I think she likes that I think she likes her brain working she needs to be more fit like lose some pounds <laughs> and get some more stamina but I guess all the horses are pouring sweat because of this weather is so weird I'm loving it here so we're back to the warm-up ring, so he's just going to um, cool her out over here because she's really struggling. She's really hot. So exciting. I, I, I'm like, it just makes you so proud when you see like a horse progressing and it's slow. I get that. Stuff like that makes you just more confident to jump stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Because she's going to be amazing. I think you're going to be amazing, lady. She likes jumping. I she think... She has to think about it. <laughs> she's like, ah, <laughs> what, do you, what do you know, she says. She's going to give her, like, cool her out a few more minutes. <laughs> Obviously, she's huffing Yeah, she's huffing and puffing. And then we're going to give her, like, a spray down before we put her in the trailer. Sam brought us a hamburger. Yum. Everything about today has been perfect. Like the time we got here was perfect. We hardly had to wait for any ring time. It turned out perfectly by the time Sophie got to school in the sand ring. Brandon and his crew were already going over there to take the jumps down anyway so they could drag the arena. <coughs> so they helped me put all the jumps down. And then he coached Sophie a little over the jumps. Like the whole thing just turned out so perfectly and it's weird. If I could tell you one thing, if I could teach you one thing that I've learned and it took me 54 years to learn it, is that stop hating stuff like I always said like how do I not be negative I didn't know how to have a mindset that wasn't negative and you might not even think you have a negative mindset set but every time you say I don't like that I don't I hate that that's a negative mindset and before long you realize that everything that you look at you have like negative colored glasses when you're looking at things so she spooked at the stick that she broke? Yeah. You're a pretty nice girl. Look at her. Her bangs are coming really in. Yeah. I really want to see how she's jumping these jumps. Alright, when we get home, well look. I wish I had a, done it on my camera, on my phone. Because she looked, because she jumped two like, times where she actually like jumped. She felt like she jumped good. Yeah, I think she did too. She actually like. Whenever I say like, wow, it's because I can see she's actually trying. Anyway, when my sisters were over the other day, they were saying like, oh, I'm not looking, not looking forward to winter at all. Like, I hate that. And the way you stop that 
of just saying, I love it. And that's what's weird. Like, if you say, oh my gosh, I love winter, suddenly you love it. Like, you do whatever you think. So if you hate something, just say it. Just say it in your head. Like, I love that. But, I mean, I love everything about this place, and I don't have to trick myself because it is amazing here. But anytime you catch yourself saying, I hate some something or I don't like something, switch it. Switch it around. I know. I'm just showing you. Sophie's like, I'm going out in that ring. You're going to go walk around it, cool her down? No. I don't know if you're allowed. I don't feel like dying. <laughs> For example, I was just about to say, like, we have to go home and we have to do the whole show prep. I hate that. <laughs> but instead, I'm going to say, we still get to go home and get everything ready and be excited. Carry on this amazing happiness. Like, oh, man, this was fun. Don't you know that you're beautiful?